a Vero Beach housewife named Katie, has been a cause for speculation for several decades, and her case still baffles even the most science-minded among us. She'd made a name for herself as a kind of folk healer and psychic among those in her community. Somehow these details were known to an investigator who was stumped on a 1974 burglary case and considered an unusual kind of evaluation. Being skeptical but desperate, the only detail he gave her was that a ring had been stolen and then took her on a drive around Johns Island, an upscale community where the burglary took place. During the drive, Katie correctly identified the house that had been robbed, described the room in which the crime occurred, identified the jewelry box and the ring that had been stolen, and stated there were three suspects and gave their descriptions. The investigator initially thought there were only two suspects, so he was surprised to hear about the third, but Katie was right and three people who matched her description were charged with the crime. This was not the last time Katie assisted in a crime investigation, and that is not the extent of her abilities. Over the next decade, she was observed by Berthold Schwartz, a psychologist and parapsychologist, and her unique traits became more unexplainable. Katie was able to act as a psychic medium, and had written at length in medieval French quatrains, despite being functionally illiterate. Caused seeds to sprout while holding them in her hands, and sometimes had objects simply appear in her vicinity. What she is most known for is the gold-colored foil-like substance that appeared on her skin. 1986 is the first time Katie says the gold appeared, causing her skin to burn before it appeared and after she wiped it away. On the surface, the substance Katie's body produced looked like a sheet of gold leaf used for crafting, purchasable from many retailers but its chemical makeup is actually brass. It has appeared in the presence of several people studying Katie, but it's not been caught on film in an undisputable way. Witnesses say Katie's skin begins to glisten, look almost like sweat, then grow into layers of gold-colored foil. The substance has also appeared on Katie's clothes and objects near her, but doesn't evaporate or disappear like items in other manifestation cases have. A material called Dutch metal is very similar to the substance Katie's body seems to produce, but skeptics have yet to determine how she is making it appear on her skin. Those who have tried to use sleight of hand tricks to conceal and adhere the Dutch metal to their skin mentioned it was difficult to work with and that they needed something to moisten the sheet with. All the liquids used to moisten the sheets left residue on the metal that was not detected in Katie's samples. More experiments were performed, isolating and filming Katie in hopes there would be evidence of the material appearing or evidence of Katie applying the gold to herself, debunking her story entirely. But only once has the phenomena been caught on tape. That film is not completely accepted as proof though, because only one camera was filming and Katie's hands were not shown in the shot. Skeptics claim they cannot confirm she didn't have a substance on her hands that caused the gold to appear, even though Dr. Schwartz and documentary writer Stephen Broad were in the room with her. Eventually, Katie's story was featured on Unsolved Mysteries, leading to another attempt to capture the gold leaf woman on film. But even they were left with no film footage of the gold appearing. The film crew, however, went home with several stories about seeing the gold appear while relaxing with Katie before and between filming. Despite their first-hand stories witnessing the phenomena, Unsolved Mysteries added a segment featuring Paul Kurtz, a magician and skeptic who is adept at sleight of hand, and his statements and demonstrations performed by his students contradicted Katie's story and made it look like she was just a clever trickster, successful in fooling Schwartz and Broad. This was the last time Broad had any contact with Katie, and Schwartz could only share what Katie wanted him to share about her because of their doctor-patient relationship. Since 1990, she has not made herself available to the public for scrutiny or support. Paul Kurtz's segment on Unsolved Mysteries has been dismissed by many experts for not being thorough or specific enough to fully explain or debunk Katie's case. 
He did not have personal knowledge of her condition and did not take any of the chemical evaluations into consideration before proclaiming his students were capable of reproducing the same results. Their experiments were not successful, despite unsolved mysteries framing them as such, and poor Katie was left looking like a fraudster. If she had been selling books about her life or attempting to cash in on her abilities, perhaps she could be considered just another person whose hoax was uncovered and refused to show their face again. But Katie never seemed to want to use her skills to benefit herself. She never took any money for her predictions or healings. She never wanted credit for helping with police investigations. And she only accepted nominal amounts of money for the inconvenience of traveling for tests and filming opportunities. Katie wasn't trying to gain her fortune by monetizing her skills. So what would make her want to publicize anything about herself? It's been almost 30 years since her appearance on Unsolved Mysteries, and only her first name is known. Was she so upset by the appearance of Paul Kurtz during her segment on Unsolved Mysteries that she withdrew from the public eye completely? Did she finally grow tired of the scrutiny? Or did her abilities simply fade away? Perhaps there is a Florida woman out there who sweats sheets of gold and solves crimes under an assumed name. Perhaps she was just a lonely housewife with a great sleight of hand ability who wanted more attention than her husband gave her. Until she steps forward again, the enigma that is Katie will remain a mystery.